نحو من سبعين قصيدة اشتمل عليها ديوان حين أسرجنا الدياجير شعرا هي القصائد المميزة في مسابقة الإسيسكو للشعر النسائي انتخبنا لكم من بينها عشر قصائد كما شرفتنا اللجان الوطنية بأصوات ستة, عش... ستة شاعرات نبدأ رحلتنا معهن بالشاعرة والأديبة من البنغلاديش التي أثرت الساحة الأدبية البنغالية بإسهاماتها الشعرية والأدبية السيدة أنورة سيد حاك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Unfortunately, I can't speak Arabic. It sounds such a nice language. I miss that. We read the Holy Quran. We do our prayers all in Arabic. But unfortunately, we cannot speak Arabic. That's a shame. I feel sorry for that. Knowing the rhythmical tone of these poetry poems, I really miss this language. Thank you, everybody. Assalamu alaikum again. I came from Bangladesh, the land of rivers and poets, and great leaders like Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. I missed my session yesterday because I came late. I did a 24 hours journey, so I missed the session anyway, unfortunately, yesterday. So I'm going to speak a little bit about my country. Before that, I pay my great respect and honor to the His Majesty, King of, King of Morocco, Muhammad the Sixth, before I say anything in this gathering, which has been organized by ISESCO. To celebrate ISESCO Year of Women 2021 for the celebration of the World Poetry Day. I give my honest thanks to the organization and the people who arranged this. Gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen, I'm a poet and a writer. I started writing from my childhood and gradually published my books or poems and also other books. Now I'd like to say something about the women's poet of Bangladesh. Before that, I would like to say the Bangladesh probably you don't know, most of them. I talk to the people, they don't know Bangladesh. Few poets also did not know where is Bangladesh. Bangladesh, as you know, is a new country, born in 1971 under the leadership of Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman after a liberation war of about nine months. By the grace of God, we have celebrated 50th anniversary of his birth a few days ago. Regarding creativity, the women poets in Bangladesh, we are talking about women poets of Bangladesh, but Bangladeshi poems are still dominated by the male poets, no doubt about that. I think probably in Arab also, I don't know. But in our country, the poetry is dominated by the male poets, and they are very famous poets of Bangladesh, like Shamsu Rahman, like Shoit Kadri, like uh, Al Mahmud, like Sayyid Shamsul Haq. The women poets now in Bangladesh, they sound to be fearless. They are confident, defying expectations and covering age-old emotions like anger, love, and dissonance with the status quo. Their poems nowadays display boldness of material and direction that is able to capture the essence of what could represent. The modern Bangladeshi women. I'm going to recite my two poems, short poems, in this conference. This is translated in English. And translation of any poetry is not the original, as you know. My husband, Mr. Syed Shamshilak, he was a great poet of Bangladesh. He used to tell me sometimes, if you don't mind, he said to translate, to read a poet, 
to read a poetry in translation is like to kiss a woman on photograph. He did not believe in translation at all. He's the winner of Freedom Award and also so Award in Bangladesh. But I started writing before him. Though he was older to me, I started writing. So I am the original writer. I don't have any dependency on him. Now this poem, life is not entirely a clean slate. Life is not entirely a clean slate. Some stains have remained here and there. Some regrets took shelter in the lower drawer of the table. Some days and nights were spent in debauchery. Some deception, lie, some indecent acts, greasing of the pumps, left relentless scratches and lines on the floor carpet. Life didn't turn out to be a clean slate. Some moss and water hyacinth covered the pond site steps. Some bickering, competition, jealousy, and mocking, more unsaid things overcame the mind. Now, at this hour of departure, life isn't entirely a clean slate. It's the lament I keep hearing here and there. This life is, after all, human life. White and dark plated along the traces our human lives. The another one, like a forceful flow of virtues. You have seen life's shadow only through the holes of your veil. You have seen the life grave even before being buried down there, throwing away your anklets into that salty water of unknown. You have spent the whole human life pretending to be a good girl. You have been a winner kicking around your hidden desires. You have been a winner kicking around your hidden desires, have tucked away your youthful fragments in a snake basket, quenched your body heat by wrapping yourself up in burqa, all the while, an angry cyclone kept on raging inside your chest. Life is meaningless if you do not spread out your desires, if you do not let the red oleander of your youth bloom, tearing apart your veils and burqa, if you do not rise up soon, let your so-called sins turn out into a forceful flow of virtues. Thank you all. أنا مجبر أن أقف لأحيي سيدة أنوارة سيدة الحق التي حضرت وشرفت الإيسسكو هذا اليوم على الرغم من معاناة السفر فشكرا للسيدة أنوارة على حضورك وتشريفك لنا هذا اليوم كما أود أن أقدم شكرا خاص للسيدة الجليلة الفاضلة فاطمة بوهراكة على إهدائها المتميز للإيسوسكو على حراكها في الأدب والفكر والشعر أنت لست في المغرب فقط وإنما في العالم الإسلامي أجمع كل الشكر والتقدير لك.